Hello everyone. This is our Stat Pro tutorial series. In this video, we learn how to design a G plus one story building, RCC building. Before we start in Stat Pro, first we understand about the AutoCAD drawing of G plus one drawing. This is the G plus one uh, small house drawing in AutoCAD. You can see here this is the plinth level and this is the red mark is the column C4 column. Each column has a ID C1, C2. If two column have same ID, it means the size of the column is same. And this PB5, it means plinth beam 5, plinth beam 5, plinth beam 6. This is okay. This is the some um, states. This is the some. One step stair, two step stair, and if you check here, this is the hard surface of on the front of the main gate. So we have to design only this structure, not this structure, and not this stair. Okay, we have to design only this beam and column. This is the plinth level, and this is the roof level. Okay, and you can see here. RS3 means roof slab 3 okay RB2 means roof beam 2 and this is C1 column C2 column so this is the plinth beam this is the roof beam and this is the beam detailing and this is the table where we have to design this structure on stat pro then we put the result in this table like PB1 what is the area of PB1 already designed uh, in this sheet and this is the top reinforcement bottom reinforcement this is this data about stirrups this data come out from the stat pro okay same as foundation okay let's we start to uh, we design this building and discuss the results g plus building and after that we discuss the uh, foundation also okay before we start the first question arising how to this is the plan how to draw this plan in stat pro because the dimensions of the beams and column is not here appear not showing here so what we do we measure each beam then we draw in stat pro no no the easiest way i teach you how to create this plan in stat pro this is a small plan you can easily measure the each beam and draw the in stat pro but if the very big plan then uh, how to draw this so what we do press l a for layer this structure is draw on layer what we do we create a layer the layer is stat okay activate this layer and what we do we hide all layer by this select and hide only we on the layer that are beam okay column not this is not column this is not column this is the column and beam okay two layers we have to on and close this now what we do we make the center line big oh, one more thing this is beams have two lines but in stat pro we create only single line so what we need we need a center line of this beam so how we create what we do by horizontal line first of all we create a line okay like this now we create a excel line excel command and press enter and we take horizontal line please f8 on like this same as we create a line in vertical and we use excel command and create this okay now the copy command c o copy enter select the line center line enter after enter he asks where the point you choose to copy that line so i am choosing this point because if we choose choose this point and we click on the next beam on the end point automatically it's center so is easily to click and draw the line in the center okay all vertical lines 
okay done all vertical line is done same as horizontal line co enter click enter copy from here this is the horizontal line this is the horizontal line this is the horizontal line horizontal line this this and this we know okay i am telling letter okay we not require to draw this line this line because this is partition wall we don't have to design this we design only the main beam and column okay this is the structure now what we do we use trim command tr enter and select this line enter and select this line same as select this line tr enter select this line and enter and select this line okay same as now you have to clear the all extra line erase this and erase this okay now this is the correct this is the correct this line is select enter and this now is the correct now again we trim extra lines okay we have to create only center lines of all beam like this now you see here the center line is now visible okay this line is erased by mistakely so what we do we copy other horizontal line from here and paste here okay now trim okay we have to uh, extend e x enter this at the this and then trim okay okay all center line is done now what we do we again go to the layer command and hide these b column and beams column and beams now i have only we have to erase this extra line now we have only center line of this structure now what we do we type w block w block use we save this frame center line to separately okay now what we do we save this on stat pro okay here d and okay okay this is save now close the autocad go to the stat pro and the drawing is this it is check the layer command okay good 
we delete these layers extra layers is not delete no problem now what we do close this open the stat pro new project space g plus one building design design next finish now you have to go file and import dxf file but i don't have dfx file so what we do with open this file autocad file and save as this file because the format of this file is dwg now we save this file as a dsf dxf format because stat pro accept only that format close okay stat pro we import from the file 3d dxf file import and go to the desktop where the folder of stat pro this is and this is the file we save open now he asking the coordinates whose coordinate is up so we uh, select y because we have create plan and the we unit take millimeter okay okay why millimeter because in autocad the drawing is in mm that's why let's check one dimension after that you start the work 5.14 is good is no error now when we import from the autocad okay some of you think that if we create directly in stat pro is very easy not easy because this is a simple plan is very simple plan when you start in designing or those who working on the consultancy that know the how much complicated the plans okay only for this video tutorial we take a simple plan okay so let's we when we import the file from autocad there are many errors comes so first of all we remove that error first of all when i select this line the whole line is select this is the error so what we do we select all sub uh, whole structure and go to the geometry and select intersect it means zero tolerance means he, this line intersect where the second line is intersect okay 34 beams created now we select okay good go to the top view select whole structure and go to the tools and check duplicate members no duplicate member okay now one more error or warning if when we create in software oh, sorry when we create in plan in stat pro we start from origin check the origin of this okay this is the plan and this is the grid so you know that uh, our plan is so far from the grid so what we do we make this plan at origin and we make this joint at origin so we by node cursor we double click on this node this is the coordinates and now what we do go to the geometry and move origin now we put this coordinate this coordinates value here the first coordinate is 1295.219 tap 0 tap minus 315.004 okay close now again you have to check the joints 0 0 now structure is ready to start work okay this is g plus drawing one more thing we have to do I don't know the floor height of this structure so what we do we check from here 
is not uh, provide here okay height is not provided in this plan because height is provided in the architecture drawing this is structure drawing okay what we do we provide height go to the translate tool y one floor 3.2 okay link and okay this is now one more thing we do we create uh, some footing area also footing column also select the all node translate in y minus 1.2 meter okay for foundation like this so this is the plinth beam this is the roof beam and this is the support now create a support fix and select and okay so now we have to design this structure so what is the property we chose for the beam and the column the one floor by the experience we choose 300 by 300 column or 250 by 250 column because we choose minimum size of the column and we choose beam then we design and then check the structures fail or not so properties define for column we choose okay now what we do we change the unit from here meter and kilometer okay define rectangle 250 by 250 we choose the column close and for beam 0.3 by 0.250 okay minimum size we take close for column we go to the select beam parallel to y and assign okay for beam select beam parallel to x and select beam parallel to z and assign okay and go to the render view and check the render view okay good now go to the load we assume all data okay because of the short time so we first of all we create a dead load live load okay not seismic and wind load because only the one floor uh, and this is the guard room guard house room no major loads on this building okay so so dead load we add a self it and on the plinth wall minus 10 kN on the plinth beam lo wall load on the plinth beam and a floor load minus 3 assign the self it to all assign to view and we assign the udl on all the plinth beam and this is the floor load floor load the minimum has 0 and the maximum has 3.2 height okay one more load the parapet wall load boundary or at the roof so we choose a udl of minus 2 kN per meter and we select the roof right click new view top view and we select the outer because the parapet wall at the outer of the building okay now we assign this lot like this full structure by this icon and live load we take for residential building floor load minus 3 Zero to three point two floor height. Add close. Now again go to the load case and add. Define auto combination by Indian code. Generate. This is the auto combination. Close. Now you have to go print and analysis all. Add close and analyze the structure. The analysis done. Zero error. Zero warning. You have to check bending moment diagram. This is the bending moment diagram. This is the deflection. and this is the shear force forces are generated but based on this force we don't say building is safe or not because only we have analyzed we increase load but we 
no the building is pass or fail after design so what we do go to the design tab concrete tab and select the is456 and define parameters before define parameter we choose the unit millimeter and newton because we remember the some parameters in newton and millimeters so go to define like clear cover we take 25 mm for beam and 40 mm for column and grade of concrete we take 25 and grade of steel we take 415 for secondary steel 415 and maximum main reinforcement we choose 16 maximum for secondary reinforcement steel we choose 8 minimum we choose by 11 12 and minimum for secondary steel we choose 6 ratio 4% okay close this parameter we choose for rcc design okay now one more command um, side of the define parameter command and we design beam add design column add design slab we don't design now slab so we left this option now last option take off take off give the total weight and concrete weight of concrete and steel we choose take off command close now you see here the yellow question mark and we have to apply this yellow parameters to the building like 25 is for only beam 40 is for column 25 for whole building 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 design beam for beam design column for column like this so 25 for beam so we select beam parallel to x beam parallel to z and assign this property green tick is showing that you assign the property 40 for column 25 for whole structure so we choose assign to view we choose assign to view and this also assign to view this also assign to view assign to view assign to view and assign to view assign to view beam for beam select beam parallel to x select beam parallel to z column for column beam select beam parallel to y and design is finished now you have to analyze the structure okay we have two option to check the beams buildings fail or pass double click on beam if concrete tab is appear it means pass double click on column is concrete tab is appear is pass but we don't have a time to click in every beam and column so what you do go to the output wait some time and search fail enter is not search fail it means all beam or in column is pass you have you have to check the result from output concrete design the okay, beam number 1 this is the reinforcement at top at bottom this is the configuration of beam okay beam is design okay like this this beam number is okay like this beam number is pb4 pb4 plinth beam 4 So now I am going to the PB4. Double click and check the reinforcement. 10 bar of 12 mm dia at top. Okay, 16 dia bar, 3 bar at the bottom. Now check the result. PB4. Okay, PB4, 3 bar of 16 is correct. But at top is take 3 bar of 12 because this drawing this result is i don't know which load he takes okay we uh, get this drawing from my friends i don't know which type of loads uh, he apply or assign to the building i am assigning the loads we general loads and considers that's why we don't have to match the result from this data okay get this but uh, work on the designing company like that we uh, check the result of each beam and put this value in the 
AutoCAD drawing and this drawing by uh, and going to the site and the site engineer start to construction according to the drawing. Okay. The building is a drawing and pass. Now the next step is we have to make foundation. So how to that to that? So two I have, have two options for foundation. One is Excel sheet. Each designing company have Excel sheet of uh, inserted formulas for foundation and beam. We check uh, what we do. Uh, go to the post processing and select the all joints of the support. Report joint support reactions and OK. These are the reaction we copy from here and these paste to the Excel sheet of foundation designing and automatically he design the foundation. One more method we have go to the stat foundation. This is the stat foundation. If we go to the stat foundation, we import these lots all and run as advanced foundation. Application not found run as foundation. This is stat foundation application open from directly in the stat pro. Okay, these are our columns and supports. Okay, these numbers are the node numbers. So what we do go to the joint job setup, create job, and the setup is isolated footing, isolated USA not Indian. Okay and take the all loads and create jobs after create job this option is appear isolated and concrete driver this is the parameter you have to put this values the the next is your base bearing capacity and other parameters footing geometries sliding over time coefficient and go to the design and yes and the foundation is designed for each column to column number 69 if we click this is the foundation and if you go to the drawing this is the drawing of the foundation it is very sensitive if you click any miss by mistake anywhere this hide this is the foundation this is the reinforcement at the top this is the size this is the size and these units are in feet you have to change if you want to change the units by here like this meter, mm, kilonewton, kilonewton meter, mm, 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 kilonewton by meter, and okay. Now the units are in meter. This is the size, and this is the drawing of foundation. And you have need in AutoCAD drawing. You have changed from this save this drawing from here. So this is the G plus one story fully designed with all loads and foundation design and how to import the drawing from AutoCAD. And this is the uh, all things is covered in this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel, share and like and comment. And my website engineersforcivil.com. I have also put this data, this AutoCAD file, this. Uh, a stat profile this foundation file we uh, you have download from my website www.engineersforcivil.com thank you